What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in to what's going to be a try on haul of all the things that I got from Nordstrom. And it's not all good. We're going to talk about the good, uh, the bad, and what I am returning. We're getting into all of it. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first let's start with this dress, which as a disclaimer is maternity, but it is the only maternity item that I have that I actually bought. I really wanted to focus on things that I could not only wear as I grow, I have like two, three and a half, th th how, when am I due? November, that's like three months, um, two and a half months left. And so I wanted things that I could grow into, obviously that might become a joke as I get closer to uh, actually delivering, but wear during the pregnancy as well as after the fact and still love it and be comfortable and feel, you know, stylish. So yes, this is maternity, but everything else I'm about to talk about is not. This is the Beatrice from non-maternity. It's the Beatrice maternity nursing slip dress. And I gotta be honest, part of why I loved it is because it doesn't look like it's maternity. And what I've noticed about um, a couple of brands that do maternity, this is just a very common style, but I, I don't, I like it. I would wear it. I'm going to wear it no matter what. It has this top shelf that kind of covers the, the belly area so that you can be in various stages of growth. The skirt is forgiving as well so that, again, you can be in various stages of growth and it flexes with you. It covers, you know, appropriately. And that top flap comes up and there are slits in like the kind of lining underneath it so that you can breastfeed or pump or do whatever it is you need to do. And that little top gives you a little bit of privacy too, at least on the longer side. So, and it's very flattering. I found it to be very flattering, very comfortable and lightweight. I actually wore it for an outdoor event. I was doing some video and photography for Project Beauty, which is a local Dallas nonprofit that I work with. And it was an outdoor event on the hottest, what is supposed to be the hottest day of the summer. And this thing wore like a champ. It was so lightweight and comfortable to move and be in. I mean, I sweat through it like crazy, but you couldn't tell because of the pattern and it was just really comfortable. The one downside to it is the straps. They're spaghetti straps, which look super cute on the model. But when it comes to like practical wear, especially someone who has a larger bust and only getting bigger with pregnancy, um, I have to wear a bra and there's just, I, I'm at the point now where like strapless it's they're too uncomfortable. I haven't found one that kind of kind of accommodate the size of what, what I am right now without it being super uncomfortable. So I did wear a bra. You could see the straps, not a big deal, but just, you know, something to be aware of. Next up is probably the piece that I am most excited about having purchased because it just says fall. It makes me so ready for fall with it's a with the floral color palette that it has. It is a dress from the brand Julia Jordan, this guy, and it's a it's called a floral drop waist long sleeve dress. It's actually two pieces. The floral piece you see there is sheer. You can see through the, the sleeves and kind of towards the bottom of the dress on the model. And underneath you get a navy blue, kind of like a shell dress. Like it's really just there to kind of cover you up underneath the sheer exterior. And so I like that because the out exterior looked like it would definitely give you some move, some flow. I did size up. I got a size 14 as opposed to like the 10, 12 that I would normally be to give me some additional room to grow. And I'm glad I did because it not only made that inner like shell dress a little bit bigger, which is really where I needed the extra room, but it also made it longer. This is another one where when I look at the model, um, it's, it's higher above the knee. And I honestly didn't think that I would love that length, but I think because I sized up, it made it a little bit longer. It hit at a place that I was more comfortable with, but it doesn't look too big. And I think that's because of the sheerness of it and the way that it just kind of flows and moves around the body. Um, I love this dress. I have no complaints. And the shoes that I'm wearing in this clip, by the way, are from Nordstrom, but they're, I don't know that they're part of the sale. I actually got them like two years ago, um, but they're a really classic style and I'm sure they have something similar available if you're interested in them. Okay, now let's talk about a dress that I'm I'm honestly not quite sure on. I would love your opinion. Um, it's from BP. It's called the V-neck long sleeve baby doll mini dress. Baby doll is a super popular style apparently and it's kind of perfect timing because it's a great silhouette to kind of grow into if you have a growing stomach. Um, the other thing is Nordstrom paired a lot of their BP or baby doll dresses in general with like boots, combat style, military, just like these kind of hardcore boots that I normally wouldn't wear with them. But this year I was like, you'll see this in a couple of pieces. I just like my inner nineties child came out and I was like, 
I'm doing it. So the boots that you'll see me wearing with this dress, I also got in the sale. They are the Karl Lagerfeld Hola Studded Chelsea Booty. These are the black patent leather and mine is in the size 10, which they might have redone the sizing on. Um, my mom has these boots and she actually got me a pair in size 10 and they were way too small, but I did, I do think those were like the matte uh, black leather. And so maybe there's some difference in the sizing. Normally I am a size 10 in my shoes and the patent fit, the other ones didn't, or maybe they've updated their sizing. Just a heads up there. But I do love them and they did fit. And I actually really like the way they look back to the dress with this uh, dress from BP, but I don't love the length of the dress. And this one's kind of on me. When you look at the model, it does hit above her knee. And that is really where it hits on me as well. I just don't know that I love that length on me just a little bit longer and I think I'd feel more comfortable, but I don't know. I can't tell if that's just like a me thing, if that's a part of my body that I don't love, or if it really would be, you know, more flattering with a longer length or if I just, you know, scrap it overall. I don't know. What do you think? I love the sleeves. Again, billowy, super comfortable. The neckline too. It's just a really comfy, flowy dress. And they have it in a couple of different patterns. I chose the green, but they have like a light blue, a yellow, some really fun patterns. I don't know. I'm torn. What do you think? Okay, the next dress is not at all how it looks on the model. This will definitely be going back. It is from the brand Vero Moda and it is called the Chatty Floral Long Sleeve Ruched Mini Dress. Mini dress should have been my first clue that I wouldn't love the length. Uh, but you tell me, in this model, it looks like there is some room in the waist, like butt thigh area. No, like it might be a little bit more flowy, maybe not as flowy as the dress that I just showed, but some room, right? Not on me, apparently. <laughs> the top fit great. I think I probably got an extra large. And so the top fit great. I love the neckline. Again, I love the sleeves, the romantic kind of puffy sleeves, the sweetheart neckline. The pattern is super fun. Um, and, and just the whole top, very flattering. Until you get to the dress part, and it just goes kind of sideways. And at first I was like, well... I'll just wear it with leggings, you know, like that could be kind of cute. Instead of being a dress on me, it's more of a tunic. But I think you'll be able to see when I turn sideways, it's like it's kind of pulling at the seams. Like it really actually does not fit around my butt and hips. And also when I paired it with leggings, these are with some like uh, jogging or workout leggings that I had on hand. But it was giving me major like, mom, can you drop me off at the movies? Cause I have a date with my boyfriend vibes. You know what? Like Lizzie McGuire walking the orange carpet kind of vibes. All you need is like a pointless, thick, chunky belt sitting lopsided on your waist. And here I am 14 again. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. I just, maybe that's just me and my association with this kind, like the pairing of a long tunic over like a tight fitted tunic like that. Like we are one to two camisoles away from being, you know, a layered mess like I was so many years ago. I think that's why I can't, I just can't do that in my mind. But man, I love everything else about it. If I could just cut that skirt off and put another skirt on the bottom, ooh. That would be for me, but I am not a seamstress. I have no skills in that department. So unfortunately it's going back. Okay, this next dress, honestly, it kind of doesn't look like anything special, right? Like it's very simple, but I thought because of that simplicity, it would be really great to layer if I want to dress it up, you know, put uh, like a white button down over top uh, or a scarf when it gets cooler with jackets and leggings like this, even though it looks kind of like a boring base, it's a base that you can really do a lot with. Or if I just want to wear it around the house, it looks like a super comfy house dress, you know, where I, I want to get out of my PJs, but I don't want to work too hard. You know what I mean? That's this kind of dress for me. So this is the Fahert, Fahertie, Fahertie, not sure, Annie Sleeveless Henley Midi Dress. And it's, I mean, it's as basic and it, as it looks. It's like t-shirt kind of fabric. It's a midi dress, very comfortable. It's a relatively thin material. I mean, kind of like a t-shirt. Uh, it's not so thin that you can see through it, but I think just you'll be able to see in the way that it lays on me. Um, it kind of like clings to certain areas and falls, you know, just kind of like a t-shirt would over, over different areas. Um, the thing, I didn't necessarily get to go with this, but I just happened to think I'll wear it a lot with this is a flannel shirt. I'm telling you guys, I am living out my 90s grunge baby dreams because I wasn't quite old enough to truly appreciate. I was like still, you know, 10 early teens in the 90s. 
was I? No, I was way young. What am I saying? I was like six, seven in the 90s. Um, Peak grunge era, I was not old enough to appreciate it. And so Nordstrom is heavily pushing like flannel t-shirts and combat boots and... I'm here for it. So I got this shirt. This is from Urban Outfit. Well, it says BDG Urban Outfitters. I'm gonna go with Urban Outfitters and it's called the Brendan Flannel shirt. Right now I'm looking at it on Nordstrom's website. It says sold out, but it's honestly said that about a couple of things that I got in my order. They are like continuously restocking, I think probably for the sale it looks like. So, and if not, they have so many different flannel shirts. I can't recommend all of them because this is the only one that I've tried, but just there, there are lots, there's lots of flannel to be had out there. This one I really do like. It is softer than I thought it would be. It's a little bit thicker than I thought it would be. Definitely a fall shirt. I mean, it's flannel. It's like a true fleecy flannel type of texture. So it is gonna give you a little bit of warmth. Perfect for like chilly fall days. It's gonna be great for layering over top of things. Here, I put it obviously with that green dress kind of over top, but also tied it at the waist. I actually wore my shirts in that era tied around the waist, which is very different now with a little bump going on. But yeah, I just think I'm gonna get a ton of good out of it. It's a great layering piece. And it's nice and cat, it's comfy and it's casual and it actually serves a purpose of adding warmth, which is really nice. So that is actually, oh wait, no, it's not. That is not it. I also got some workout kind of things that I really like. This first one is from Free People and it's the City Vibes oversized t-shirt. It is massive. Yes, I got it because I am growing and none of my t-shirts slash tank tops that I wear to work out in are really comfortable anymore. They're just too tight. I needed something bigger and flowier. And this not only does the trick, but it has pockets in it. People, doesn't get any better than that. I actually bought one in every color. So here I am showing it in white, but I have it in all the different colors. And you can, if you feel like you don't like it flowy, you can knot it. I have knotted it before when it just feels like it's too much fabric and it's too hot, but I really like them. And then I also got this Zella Amazing Cozy Wrap Jacket, which again, I'm looking online and it says it's sold out, but keep checking back. They restock pretty regularly, so keep checking back. Uh, this I really like too. I mean, it's very straightforward. It's like a, a workout jacket. I think I'm gonna really get some good out of it as it gets colder outside and I wanna continue to work out even after baby's here, going on walks when it's chillier out. It's a really, it's fleece on the outside, but then on the inside, it actually has this interesting faux fur, like shaggy faux fur lining. So I think it's going to be super duper warm. It does not close all the way down, which I think is gonna be great with a bump. I'm not sure how great that will be when I don't have that and I want to keep it closed. You know what I mean? There are just two snaps up here um, that keep it in place, but not fully closed throughout your entire torso. So doesn't get too cold in Texas, knock on wood. We don't have another winter like we did last year, but I still think it's gonna be a great comfortable piece, not just to wear outside, but also just lounging around the house. You know, a little bit of athleisure never hurt anybody. Um, that's it for clothes. I have, oh, these earrings that I, I've actually been wearing in a couple of different videos. These came in a set. They are from Bobble Bar. Uh, you get one set, which is these, which is just like brushed gold. And the other is like clusters of diamonds. So very beautiful, very blingy. Um, I've just been, I haven't worn those yet though. I've really been loving these. Normally I am a big thin hoop kind of girl, uh, but there's just something about these where I was like, they're still big, bigger than like a stud. There's still a statement kind of earring but just less, you know, taking up less real estate on the neck area. And yet they say, I'm a hoop. I don't know. I'm just liking the different style. Um, the one thing that absolutely, do, well, shoes that didn't work are these, they're called, from the brand called Piccolinos. They're called the Vicar Combat Boot. And I got them in this really pretty burgundy color, also a size 10, way, way too small. I don't know what is going on with this sizing, but heads up, they run super duper small. Ain't no way my foot is fitting in this boot, but it's so cute. And so I'm thinking maybe I'll see, do they have a size 11? They have a size 11. I might size up unless my feet will shrink after the kids here. I don't know how that's supposed to work. No, it wouldn't, I don't think. 
I don't know. Maybe I hope I have some boots. Maybe I hold off on a, a second pair of boots. They're just so cute. Well, TBD on those, but that's where I landed with everything else that I picked up in the sale. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of these things, seeing them on, and also seeing the difference between what you might see online versus how they actually fit. That is, of course, for my body type. Not everyone is going to have this experience, but if you are shaped similarly as me, I'm, you know, 10 to be, I mean, honestly, anywhere between a 10, 12, now a 14 to a accommodate my stomach. So it just, if, if you find yourself in that area, hopefully this was helpful for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.